hey buddy welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is honey and i post videos literally every single thursday sundays and mondays so please please hit the subscribe button and join the family because i'm here for you you know i'm here to give you content and even better your girl is moving yes this is news to everyone not just the new people I am moving. I know I mentioned in the other video that I'll be staying with my small sister. But I didn't mention that I will be moving. So, yes, I'm excited about that. I have really out one out not out one. Like I have had enough of this room. If you guys know, you might know this or not, but like you guys have barely seen my room. Like you have seen my room, but I've never done like a room tour showing because I've never been proud of the room. So, I'm so excited, y'all. Gosh, I'm excited like the content that's about to be popping on this channel eh? If you know me like I love DIYs I like room makeovers and I just love decorating and The fact that I actually got a space big enough for me to do that. It's just exciting and it's just for me. It's like You I'm doing too much. I'm excited you guys, but for today Like you know today we're not getting into all those good good details Today we are doing the it's not really pick with me. I'm literally just going through my stuff and getting rid of things. Like I have clothes that I haven't worn in years. Like I've clothes I haven't worn in like two years. I've clothes that I even forgot that I have. So I'm gonna go through my clothes and I'm gonna throw away the clothes that I don't need anymore that are too old. So I'll have piles. Let me show you quickly. So that is a box not a, a storage container with clothes that black and white thing over there is also a storage container with clothes this suitcase here has clothes that suitcase has clothes that small bag there has clothes and bags and then inside the cupboard i have clothes there here and then shoes and in the drawers just stuff so i need to go through all of these things and get rid of them like no i i honestly speaking hate hated this room because i thought it was way too small but then i'm also coming to realize that it maybe was small because of the too many things that i had so we are decluttering we are getting rid of things that we don't wear anymore that we don't need anymore it's time we stop this culture of holding on to clothes <laughs> and holding on to stuff so um let's see how we're gonna do it so whatever i'm gonna keep i'm gonna put it on the bed whatever needs to be thrown away i'll put it on the floor not throw yeah floor and then whatever i need to give away i'll keep it uh, on the floor on the side of the bed so yeah let's get into these things and see what what, what shenanigans i have okay <laughs> hey there you're probably wondering, honey, what the hell? Like, come on, like, this is not what I signed up for. It's a first day. Like, what does decluttering have to do with adulting? Um, please hold your horse, you know. Uh, I'll explain that. Like, we'll get there. This video is about to get exciting. Adulting, aka growing up, is one of those things I'll always refer to as a bath tip. You see, um... When you are growing up, you fill your life with so much people, so many material things and emotional things. Just like you would fill your perfect bath with the perfect temperature of water, you know, the perfect bath balls, the perfect bath salts, the perfect essential oils. You can name it all, all the nice things and whether you like it or not, you will enjoy it in the beginning, but eventually that water gets cold. The soap starts looking nasty, so what do you do? You let the water out and add clean water. Clean soap, clean um, essential oils, you know, anything clean to make the water better, right? Even though you do that, you can do that as many times as you want, but eventually you'll want to go out of that bath and you, because that water is going to get nasty, you know? So you want to get out of that bath, you want to go live life, you want to come back and repeat that whole process 
again because you can't live in that when you live in that eventually when you live in that path eventually your life will become miserable so growing up you will meet new people all the time new schools new universities new job and you can imagine how many of those will be changing if you aren't lucky to go to one school one university um and then get the first job your dream job right after university you know that your first job that you get is going to be your dream job like what are the chances of that so whether you like it or not you will meet new people which means forming new relationships but not all the not all those new people you meet are meant to be in your life and those that are meant to be in your life will uh, you will eventually outgrow them to at a point you've got to let go so i have this clothes example um for example i have this yellow high school netball team skirt um that i have right and for years i haven't worn it like i I, I, it's always in my in my wardrobe but i've never worn this dress and i'm holding on to it and i have no idea why i'm holding on to this to this dress besides the fact that it was a beautiful memory that i created you know so now i'm holding on to a beautiful memory not realizing that i'm filling up my space with something that i can easily hold on to without a physical attachment I have the memories in my mind obviously i have the pictures on my social media so why do i actually need the dress to remember a great time that i had a while ago so the thing is with life you become friends with someone or get into a relationship with someone you make great memories together the things happen you grow apart you get into it and you fall apart but now you know what despite all the great memories you have with this person they don't build you you know they they bring you they bring your spirit down they are toxic yet you are still holding on to them the thing is don't get me wrong there are certain things that are okay to hold on to for instance i have a uh, a card basically of my late auntie um it's her service her funeral service card that we were wearing like more like a name tag that we were around our dresses um and i've been holding on to that for the longest time and i don't see myself giving it up anyway you know it's there are certain things that you can hold on to because they bring you good memories or they remind you of something that is really good and it's not something that you can recreate you know it's just that one thing that just came that once and it never comes back and there's no way of recreating that moment and there are those certain things that you can hold on to so um it's for example a ring that you have from your mom your dad your sister your best friend that is no longer a necklace or you know those kind of things are things that you can hold on to but holding on to toxic things that don't bring you joy that don't bring you happiness and that don't fill your life in any sort of way and make your life happy in any way those are things that you need to let go on the thing is you can hold on to the memories of who a person was to you what a person if it brings you joy hold on to it if it doesn't there is no point in holding on to it the thing is you can keep being in love with someone from a distance you can pray for someone from a distance you can care for someone from a distance and nobody's going to tell me that you can't do any of those from a distance so you don't need to keep seeing negativity in your life it has taught you if it doesn't bring you joy if it doesn't bring you happiness and if it doesn't bring you peace it's got to go because how long are you going to work around being held back by the baggage of your life journey there is no way you can embrace that new companion that new career that new relationship that new entrepreneurship opportunity or that new life you want while you are still holding on to the baggage of your life let go and allow yourself to embrace what is waiting for you right at your feet if you are anything like me after watching this video i have homework for you so please take note grab your pen and grab your book your notepad because i want you to do this homework for me ask yourself what is my baggage if you have an answer to that and your answer can be anything from relationships to material things like in my case clothes 
journey. I want us to note that thing down and let's make a bet together by saying this. I am letting go because I want better and I deserve better. Let me know how you feel after that by leaving a comment in this video. Uh, let's enjoy the rest of the video, me getting rid of my clothes and see, yeah. So I'm done sorting out everything in here. But now I'm really tired, like, and I still have laundry to do. And I now need to tidy up. So like I've already, I have everything divided. I just need to tidy it up. But I'm so tired already. Uh, yeah. Um, let me show you what we are dealing with. So everything here, all of this, is everything I need to throw away. I'm just going to put it in that bag over there and go put it by the bin. This here are the clothes that I'm keeping. This and whatever is in here. Whatever is in here. And then this here, in inside here, is my window clothes. Uh, these are left over here. But I'm not throwing it away. I, I, I might want to use it for another hairstyle again. And that pile over there is the pile that I'm giving away. Like I'm sending to my mom and she can go figure it out. Whatever she's going to do with that. And then that little pile over there is my laundry. Okay, so. Let's get to tidying up. I still have to blow. I mean film. I need to record a vid. I need to record two videos. I might. I don't know how many I'll record. But yeah. I need to record two videos. I'm tired, y'all. Um, let's tidy up. This love ain't yours for the taking. And baby, this heart can tell what's right or wrong. I know that no love ain't real if something's broken. But I know that we both gotta know it's time to let go In the end it's only down to us There's no love nor love And I hate that I admit we're at the breaking point At the breaking point, it's time to break it Don't need no Baby, our love was good before we lost The little loving that we had in the beginning And baby, now we know we gotta let go Don't need to hold on Cause relationship is built on trust On pure love and love And I hate that I admit we're at the breaking point At the breaking point So face the breaking point And I don't care if I go down with it The way I see it, there's no point Cause in the end it's only down to us There's no love, no love And I don't want it, but we're at the breaking point Don't need no
guys it's like one o'clock not one o'clock twelve o'clock i'm exhausted this is the only reason i'm sleeping in this bed like this yeah so um, the wedding looks bad from there let me just stay like this <laughs> oh okay i'm really exhausted and i'm really far from finishing like i'm still sleeping in the clothes that i'm supposed to be washing and yeah i'm, I'm I'm exhausted. Um, let me show you the floor. So most of the stuff are like thrown away. There is done. That is my Christmas decoration in that cup, pink boxy. -key. These are the things that need to go with my mom. And so it's just the floor that is left and really just tightening up. That's all that's left. So oh, oh gosh, yeah. So that's what's left. Let me finish. I'm not sleeping quickly. Because I'm running late and I need to start filming as well. And I'm getting hungry as well. So let me finish up.